Most people be like, if I have superpowers, I'm gonna be a superhero. And some people be like, well, if I have superpowers, I'm gonna be a super villain. Meanwhile, I'm. Okay, settle down. I'm... Take it easy. I'm cheating at raping her grandpa. Wow. What did he just say? Anyways, if you had superpowers, what would you be doing? What would you be up to? Would you be a villain? Would you be a hero? I'm genuinely curious. Most people be like, well, I would like to have x-ray vision, you know? We we know why people want to have x-ray vision, but I never really thought, like, I mean, are you really going to be seeing all that, or are you just going to be seeing bones? Like, think about it. Since when had a doctor taken an x-ray and been like, man, that's some nice-ass titties? It's always like, yeah, uh, you had a bone fracture up in here, up in there. Like, you know what I mean? Another one that I don't really like is the ability to fly. I feel like if you had to choose one superpower and you chose flying, you You're stupid. Because you should have just chose teleportation. It's the same thing, but better. Like, Dragon Ball is a good example of this. You know, like, early on to the show, people was flying. And that was supposed to be really cool, the fact that, you know, Goku used to fly on a cloud. Like, he had to have a cloud to fly. Then it was like, okay, well, he can fly without the cloud. And then, you know, when he's at his most broken form, it's like, okay, well, he can just teleport. They were like, well, how do we one-up the flying teleportation? So why would you not choose teleportation over flying? And another reason why I'm taking teleportation over flying is because you know the moment motherfuckers see you flying, they're going to start asking you for shit. Like, dude's going to hit you up like, hey, man, I saw you on the news flying the other week, bro. Hey, hey, let your boy get a ride to Atlanta, dog. Hey, fly me over to Atlanta. Like, bro, do you got flying over to Atlanta money? That's like 2,000 miles away. And the moment you start charging dudes for that, they're going to be like, oh, man, if I had known you was charging, I was just going to take the airplane then. Start guilt tripping you and shit, man. They're going to be like, man, you know, if I I wish I had the ability to fly. If I could fly, I, I'd let all my homies, I'd take them all anywhere they wanted, anywhere. If I had the ability to fly, I'm definitely hiding my identity. Not because I don't want the super villains to come and attack my loved ones. No, because I know damn well broke dude's going to come asking me for a free ride everywhere. Like, could you imagine if everybody knew Peter Parker was Spider-Man, bro? They was going to hit him up. Mary Jane would be like, oh, Peter, could you just swing me over here? It should be no biggie for you because, you know, you're Spider-Man and all. Hell no, we drive in. I feel like sometimes superpowers might be useless in a world that doesn't have super villains. Like, imagine if you had Ultra Instinct. Like, okay, yeah, that's cool. Who are you fighting? Alex Pereira? Like, who are you going to be fighting that you need Ultra Instinct for? Oh, well, you could dodge bullets with it. Well, at that point, you might as well ask for invincibility. I mean, the only reason why I would choose teleportation over flying is because nobody would notice you you teleporting unless you like teleport right in front of them. Then you have to bring out one of the men in black forget uh, pen things, which, you know, that wouldn't be that bad of a superpower either. That way, instead of having to gaslight women, I could just pull out one of these and be like, no, you don't remember that shit. You teleport in front of a broke dude and he can be like, wait, you can teleport? Hey, bro, can you take- Nope, nope, you don't remember that. You, that did not happen. <laughs> telekinesis isn't a bad one. I wouldn't mind having telekinesis, you know? That way I can talk over women when they're not even talking. I can talk over them in their own head. Hello, this is Ibs from the future where I was granted telepathy. I just realized that telekinesis and telepathy are two different things. Uh, I'm talking to you in your- This isn't real. Or, no, this is real, but- it, there's not a voice playing on the video right now. I'm talking to you through your head. You ever get in an argument with a woman, you know, and then she like just goes nonverbal and just gives you that look? Nah, I know what you're saying in your head. I just need to argue with you in your own head now. You could low-key be a villain with telepathy, dude. I'm telling you. Bro, like, imagine if a guy had telepathy, called the black person the N-word, threw their power into their mind, and then when the black guy started freaking out, he got incarcerated in a mental ward for what schizophrenia. Time traveling is kind of lame, and I'll tell you why it's lame. If you had teleportation, you could just teleport to the past, present, and future. Man, what kind of fucked up future is this? Oh, hello, sir. Hey, I just teleported 200 years into the future. Where am I? This is Africa. Oh, uh, that that's understandable. All right, then. Weird, I just teleported to New York City, but we're still in the same timeline. Nah, nah, come on. If the Flash gets to run faster than the speed of light that then allows him to go back into the past, I get to teleport to wherever I want, whenever I want, 
at any time. You know, people be talking about invisibility and every single time people talk about invisibility, it's just like the X-ray thing. It's always some perverted power that they're just trying to, you naughty, 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 naughty you trying to see them naked boob. You know, they trying to go see the chick naked in the, in the bathtub or something like that. And I got to disagree with this. And you know why? I think that's some pussy shit. A real one like me would teleport into the bathtub with her, look her up and down, tell her she looks very nice and beautiful and I got her locked in my photographic memory and boom, teleport right out. Who's she gonna tell, the police? They'll probably lock her in the psych ward as well for schizophrenia, is what I would do if I was a villain. But man, if I had teleportation, I would just be teleporting to all the beautiful places I see on social media. Like forget flight fees, forget like rental car fees or public transportation fees. Hell, you could even forget hotel fees. You know, I could go to Switzerland by day, be back at my house by night. I would say speaking to animals is kind of cool, but low key, like, what you got to say to them? Like, you going to speak to the birds? They're probably either taking naps, like, I don't take naps. or that's like that's going that's and getting their own. They ain't got time to speak with me. Me trying to teach a League of Legends lore to a, a Robin I just found in my yard. All right, man. So this guy's called Wukong, right? And he got like this staff he can elongate and he can create a clone of himself and shit, right? Like, what do you gotta tell the animals, bro? Like, what what do what do they need to know? And what do you need to know from them? I mean, superhuman strength would be pretty cool. Like, it, you know, like if if a car was on top of somebody or something and you needed to save their life or in some kind of danger like that is what I would say however however if you had teleportation you could just teleport the car away fire breath sounds pretty cool but you know what would be better than fire breath having laser eyes I mean you know there's time stop which I know a lot of people like this because they're little like coom brains but time stop you know you stop time and then you go behind the guy and it's like what how did you get behind me but this is just teleportation with extra steps dead ass though if time stop was a thing and i had it i would have probably stopped time for eight hours and just sleep the entire time but then it, it draws a lot of questions like if i'm stopping time is my body still aging since I'm still in control of my body or is it not aging because the time is stopped and I just have consciousness and functionality of my body? Like, do you know how quiet it would be if you stopped time? There's like that one chamber where it's like the quietest place on earth and they say after being in there for 30 minutes, you can start to hear like your organs functioning and stuff. Because it's so quiet, it becomes super, super sensitive to your heartbeat, which Speaking of which, if you stop time, would you even have a heartbeat? Okay, realistically speaking, screw telepathy. Get that out of there. If we really wanted to be a supervillain, we could just use it with teleportation. Teleport up to a black guy's ear, whisper the N-word, and teleport out. He'll never know what happened. In fact, we could just teleport in front of him, say the N-word, and just keep teleporting back just outside of his reach. Just keep saying the N-word. <laughs> Necromancy, right? You get to you get to rise the dead and control them. Don't touch the uh, you know asking for a friend does this mean that when you rise the dead they are how they are like you know rotting you know bones everywhere and worms in them and stuff or or are they in a condition when they were alive cuz hey you know for a friend Marlon Monroe died like 40 years ago or so so like you know I'm just saying like I this is for a friend like guys my friend told me that this is what he would do with his necromancy like you know like there's also a lot of musical artists out there that died without finishing some projects so welcome back juice world <laughs> so to recap what superpowers I think I would have definitely teleportation uh laser beam eyes probably a broly boost honey pack and whatever Bill Cosby has